here on the plains of South Dakota, being a football fan can be a bit lonely. The closest NFL team is a four hour drive from here. And yet, the town of Brookings, South Dakota, had a big stake in this week's Super Bowl because this is where the NFL goes up in lights. How many Super Bowls have you guys had? Oh my gosh. Uh, I think our first major NFL stadium came in possibly 98 or 99. That's when this South Dakota electronics company, fittingly called Dactronics, entered what's become an arms race to build the biggest and most vivid video scoreboards in football, including this one that will be used at tonight's big game in Arizona. If you're surprised that something that big comes from such a small place, don't worry. Dactronics CEO Reese Kurtenbach is pretty used to that. What's the reaction when you tell people you've got a high-tech company in South Dakota? You know, that is one of the real mental hurdles we, we have to come is over, is that here we are in South Dakota and we have a high-tech company and, and that's, we're South Dakota and, and you have to kind of position it on the map for, for some people, uh, some people even in the U.S. It all started back in 1968 on the campus of South Dakota State University with two friendly engineering professors, both South Dakota natives. Now, we didn't have any money. I tell people who are rich in children, but poor in dollars. <laughs> Al Kurtenbach, Reese's father, and fellow professor Dwayne Sander were looking for a way to help their students find local jobs. Uh, we were seeing our students uh, leaving the state and uh, thought uh, we should try to do something to keep our students here. They rented space in a tire repair shop just off Main Street in Brookings and never really planned to leave. When you talk to startup companies, talk to venture capitalists, those kind of people, they always talk about the exit strategy. What's your exit strategy? And uh, my uh, exit strategy for the company was no exit. <laughs> <laughs> His first hire, a graduate student named Jim Morgan. He went on to become Dactronic CEO years later. But back in those days, he didn't even know what the company was supposed to make. We really didn't have a product when we started, so every, <laughs> every accomplishment you celebrate at those days, you know. They finally put their engineering minds together to build this. It's a scoreboard for wrestling matches. It may look simple, but at the time, it was revolutionary, and they've never looked back since. If uh, somebody was interested in having us build another scoreboard, we were willing to do that. You didn't turn anybody down. Yeah. No. They were soon building scoreboards for high schools, colleges, you name it. In 1980, Dactronics was even asked to ply their trade at the Winter Olympics in Lake Placid. That was really a, a turning point for us. <laughs> but suddenly you had, here's this little company, and you had a literally a worldwide audience looking at what you guys were building here for the Olympics. It's yeah. fairly good advertising. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, they were timing world records. Today, they're making them. Dactronics holds the distinction of building the largest video displays in sports, specifically these, installed at the home of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Each is bigger than the field the Jags play on, 362 feet long, six stories high, and with a price tag to match, coming in at nearly $9 million a piece. To really appreciate the size of these things, you've got to see them in person. There's almost 22,000 square feet of screen up there. That makes my head big enough to be on Mount Rushmore. Right now, just one of my eyes is almost 11 feet across. Good God, that's disconcerting. The NFL is counting on bigger being better, a way to entice fans off their comfy couches to buy tickets to see the spectacle in person. You have many great reasons to stay home. You have your 62 inch HD in your man cave or whatever is your right. great reason to stay home. I need to provide you with a different kind of experience that you can only get in a venue. I will go to flags behind it. Larry Rosen is the executive producer of the Jaguars big screen entertainment. I mean, the resolution on that is better than what you'd get at home. Four times better than what you get at home. The screens are a constellation of millions of LEDs, 
about the size of a small thumbtack, spaced about a half an inch apart. Standing near them, it's hard to actually picture a picture. All your eyes focus on are clusters of red, blue, and green lights. But back away, and those clusters miraculously blend together into a portrait in vivid detail. The panels undergo brutal testing to make sure that they can withstand the elements. Wow, like you can just feel the heat right away. Oh, yeah. Everything from the steamy heat of Sun Life Stadium in Miami to the pounding rain and snow of Chicago's Soldier Field. Some are even submerged in water. It sits like this, it'll run for days and weeks without a uh, failure. So, really? Yeah. But perhaps the biggest test for Dectronics has been the students at SDSU, where Al, long since retired as a professor, still rarely misses a Jackrabbits game, under his scorebook, of course. In the early 80s, only 22% of engineering graduates here actually found work near Brookings, South Dakota. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> but today, that number is closer to 62%. Many of Dactronics would be employees now attend class in Dactronics Hall. Yeah, I felt we always had to show them exciting work, demonstrate that there was exciting work right here in Brookings. Dactronics, of course, isn't the only manufacturer of stadium big screens. Mitsubishi turned heads years ago with this massive display at the home of the Dallas Cowboys. But it's Dactronics that has just been awarded the contract to build the biggest scoreboard to date. Called a halo board, it will ring the top of the new Atlanta stadium. The only way for this screen to get any bigger is for the stadium itself to grow. I mean, is there some point, are we approaching sort of the biggest they're going to be? I, I think it depends on how, how um, large the checkbook is. That, once <laughs> when, <laughs> that would certainly be a factor anyway. I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah, if the checkbook gets larger, we'll sure try to build it. <laughs> and we undoubtedly will watch.